are those three now? Fell out with the leader. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, I rise to support the idea of these reviews of the SOPs in the name of, of Chris Bishop. Uh, and now, really, just a selection of options for that review body. Before I move into that, I just want to make some comments on the last contribution from the Minister and the Chair. He started off by suggesting that there is already an avenue for review after each election through the Justice Select Committee. There are a couple of problems with that, and that is that the, the terms of that review are, broadly speaking, subject to the will of the members of that committee. So there's no way of mandating that this legislation or the provisions that would be enacted through this bill would get reviewed at any of those uh, post-election reviews. And the second point is actually the purpose of those reviews and leads to a question for the Minister. Because those reviews, are the purpose is to review the previous general election and potentially local body election. And yet the provisions that this bill would enact are not about elections. They are about what transpires between elections. They are not about the electoral, electoral process itself, not about a general election campaign or the administration thereof, or even promoting uh, voting within the public. They are about treatment of members of parliament once elected. Uh, so that, quite frankly, the Justice Select Committee is not the right vehicle to entertain a potential re review of these provisions. The other point that Mr Little made was uh, an attack on my good colleague, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith, uh, for some comments he allegedly made about public servants. And Mr Little claimed he failed to defend those. Well, that's uh, incredibly ironic, uh, Madam Chair, given that this bill uh, does nothing at all to defend uh, the elected members elected to serve New Zealanders does nothing to defend their rights, their freedoms uh, and indeed the will of the public of New Zealand at all. It takes away those rights, it minimises them, it places them under the yoke, uh, potentially the yoke of a despotic party leader. And so in the, making those comments, Mr Little made the point that in uh, opposing this bill we were just showing Tory privilege. Well, if that is the case, and that was deemed parliamentary to make that claim, then I think it is only reasonable, Madam Chair, that we could look across at members opposite and the minister whose bill this name is under and say the provisions of this bill are seeking to apply Stalinist democracy to New Zealand. Now, on to the, the point of the review. I actually think the reviews are an extremely good idea, uh, given that the numbers would indicate that this bill is probably going to pass. The question then comes, what body should do the review? And I have been swayed by some arguments I've heard today about the Electoral Commission being the right body to do that because principally they're an, uh, an independent uh, government entity uh, and their whole reason for being is around the electoral system and confidence in the system. But it would be very easy, I think, to accept and have confidence in the work the Commission might do in the review of, these, of the provisions that this bill would enact on a, a periodic basis. But I'm not convinced that they are, of the choices that are available to Parliament, I'm not convinced that they are the best of the bodies to do that. And that is because, principally, as the point I made earlier around the Justice Select Committee and their post-election reviews every three years, the Electoral Commission is, is primarily responsible and interested in the electoral process itself. Uh, and administering how elections are conducted. It is not or does not tend to comment uh, on the, the behaviour and actions of members once elected, so between uh, those, those respective general or by-elections. So I would actually contend that the Law Commission would probably represent a better body, uh, a body of, uh, of expertise and, and wisdom, uh, and, and which has a much broader, obviously, remit, uh, and I would argue in a better position to take a very holistic and broad view of, not, of the provisions of the bill and how they have played out over the previous three years, how they might have worked in practice, uh, the perceptions they may have instilled, particularly amongst the public, about how did they affect members' behaviour over the term. Was there an apparent silencing of members? Did they seem reticent uh, to put forward their own views, perhaps for fear of the action that a party leader might take against them? 
Uh, so I would argue that the Law Commission, rather than the Electoral Commission, will give us a, a, a broader and more holistic and deeper view uh, on how the bill or the provisions were operating in practice, Madam Chair. I call the Honourable Alfred Nara. It's great to be able to be given the call. Uh, in the